$35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Nice looking day. Would I say 50% chance of rain today? Let me look. I don't, I just, I don't want to depend on my memory. No, I think you said 50%. Yeah, 50% is what it says. I think you said. It's what I read, not what I said. What you read, I read yeah. it and I said it. No, you uh, trust the meteorologist. <laughs> Galen Unald is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. It's the fifth day of this work week that he is doing this. Yeah. Does it five days every week. And, of yep. course, what he does is he tells us that... Our blood is the only blood that is in the blood bank because there is no artificial blood. We don't import it. We don't outsource it. It's from us right here in our own community. Exactly. Galen, you know, how are you? Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. Was I right in that? I mean, does the blood ever get, I don't mean outsourced as in from another country, but I mean, do we ever ship it as far away as like Oregon or does it stay in the Southeast? How, how far does our blood go? Very, very rarely. Very, very rarely does a unit that's, that's drawn say in Ocala, um, leave the state of Florida, actually. I mean, it, it's pretty rare for it to leave outside of Gainesville. Oh, really? So, um, to go that far, I mean, it, it's pretty rare. Um, if there's something happening and there's a community that needs it and we have it, then we'll do it. But for the most part, what, what we draw in the community stays in the community. So, and, you know, over 7,500 people a year go uh, receive blood transfusions outside the city of Ocala. So that's that's why we're here. Wow! And so, and that means every community has somebody like yourself who is encouraging the people in the community to do exactly like as you're doing to to get us to donate right. blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah there there aren't that many of us, but uh, they're definitely out there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I bet you, th th I mean, you must be, in, in a way, a role model for a lot of them because you're very successful uh -huh. at it. No? Am I wrong about that? I mean, do they uh, do they come to you and say, yeah? yeah? I mean, I, I'm asking you to brag a little uh, bit, but, yeah. Yeah. but no, who else? They do. They do. Else? I mean, I, I, I've spoken at a lot of conferences about recruiting blood donors and, um, you know, I've spoken to different countries and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I get calls, not, not only from, I get a lot more from inside our organization, obviously, that outside but about once or twice a week i'll get a call from somebody asking about you know this this or that and, it, and a lot of it has to do with current issues that are going on and how you know what 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 the community blood banks if you will are going to how they're going to respond and what we should do about it so the one thing that i i'm, I'm gosh i'm going to brag on you a little bit here and i'm i know it's true what i'm about to say but i also know that there are exceptions to this but the one thing they can't really duplicate is this. It's it's very hard to do this. I mean, you can go on the radio, but it doesn't mean you're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I try to explain, you know, people who don't understand the show and haven't listened to the show, um, and I'm like, you just, I, I can't explain it. You know, they're like, well, you do it every day? <laughs> I know. <laughs> the blood report? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you talk about it? for 30 minutes every day on the radio? No. No. <laughs> well, what do you talk about? I don't really know. <laughs> you know. I'm like, you'd have to listen to the show. So, and then after they listen to it, they're like, now how do I get that set up in my town? I'm like, I have no idea. Uh, you, you have to be blessed enough to have a station that cares. Um, and then you have to make it work. And, and I'm like, you have to make that funny. You have to make that entertaining. 
whatever is going to work for you, you and, have to make it right. work. And I think the, the so. team effort between that person and that person's sure. host, in other words, our equivalent, the equivalent to Robin and myself mm-hmm. in the other town, they have to click with that guy, exactly too, right. so, or that girl. Well, and they have to care. It, well, we've had our share. We've had our share of people right here who are beautiful, lovely people, mm-hmm. but just did not do this. No, not at <laughs> I all. I mean, it was simple. It was short. It was the bloodmobile is located at... Exactly. Fill in the blank, and we're done. Exactly. Yeah, so it, the fact that we can have fun with it and expand on it, and I do have a fun topic today. Today's a, blue, just, today, today's a blue moon, so I want to... I do not want to talk about... You, you were talking about some heavy stuff before I came on. I'm like, oh, that's depressing. So, yeah, let's do something good. Depressing, but hopefully interesting. Yeah, yeah it was extremely. Yeah. Oh, it was interesting. It, you, know, it, but tell, you, you know, whenever you talk about the dark side of society and how quickly society can turn on a dime, and, um, and I think that's why we have to study what, what the Third Reich did and, and what Hitler was able to do in a very short amount of time, because that could be us if we allowed it to. That's right. It so, could. That's um, right. Uh, and that's that. I'm glad you're talking about it and bringing it up, but at the same time, it's it's depressing. Yeah, it's depressing. And and if you want to be a a leader and you want to take over the world, a good sp- script to follow is Hitler. Just don't invade Russia in the winter. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the rule. yeah. Well, hopefully, we're smart don't enough to know to not. Much. Just don't listen to people who say they. I have the solution. Don't you when somebody says they're sure about anything, and you know they're not yeah. sure. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, no, you're not. Mm-hmm. You're not sure. Uh, you know, you, you, yeah. You can. You can. A lot of people would argue. Um, I mean, those few people are dying, but uh, a lot of people argue with what Hitler did was the best thing that for Germany. So. No, oh, please. At the time, the mass majority felt that what Hitler was doing was right and exactly what the country needed. So, it, it, I mean, it, and these were sane people. I thought you didn't want to talk so, about it. I, I did. <laughs> it's so fascinating, though, isn't it? Oh, I know. It's a fascinating yeah, it topic. It is fascinating. I know, um, I know. I, All right, let's yeah, let me go through the phone because I, I do have something fun I want to ask you, and then of course we have to find out what the uh, blood supply uh, needs are. Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. Yes. Uh, good morning, all. Hey, see, Galen. A quick question: uh, How long after a person dies can their blood be used? <laughs> uh, never. Never. Okay. I mean, you can't. You, you have to have a willing blood donor. I mean, you can't. You, you can't. Because you could give all of it. <laughs> Yeah, you can take all of it. It's just, uh, you, know, you can't transfuse it to another human being. No. That's a good no, question. No, I get that question a lot. No, it's a good question. I, I get that yeah. question a lot. It I, is. I, 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 I'm funny. trying to dismiss it. But we've actually had people call and say, hey, I'm, I'm, when I die, I want you to take all my blood. <laughs> but I really appreciate the sentiment. Um, <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I've had that question. It's, and, you know, uh-huh. I mean, at least they're they're talking about you know they're dying i'm like i hope this isn't happening anytime soon mm. so, all right, all right. it makes yeah. sense though yeah all right let me take another it's phone call <laughs> good morning you're on the air with galen kathy hi everybody hi hey, kathy you do what hey, galen Jim. said kathy. yesterday i went and gave blood yesterday at the main oh, center beautiful and i'd never done it there before i'd always done the mobile unit and there's a real sense of community down there there was obviously one of the do- regular donors had brought flowers for one of the phlebotomists in appreciation. Oh, really? It was really neat. Just a real sense of, you know, this is this is like a little home here. Was she flirting her yeah. eyebrows? Was she fl- flittering her eyebrows? No. It was, it, it was just an appreciation thing. It was really neat. It, you know, it's... Well, thank you for bringing that up, thank Kathy. You, Kathy. Thank you, for being okay. a blood donor. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, that's, <laughs> there's a lot of... Uh, downside to working at the blood center but there are so many more upsides because you do create a that relationship between the donor and and our staff and um jennifer janderson who is the best hire i've ever had in my my she's life she's great she's probably um, the one who got the flowers she's, she's, the best. she's a cutie yeah, yeah. She, well she just left she, she oh no no Friday. well maybe that's why she they got the flowers north carolina and uh no, I, no. I, she called me and she goes i had to talk to you and i'm like i'm so depressed but um so i do want to tell everybody that she's going to miss us she said she's going to miss me so i believe that but um <laughs> she was there for a very long time and, right right, uh, right the best hire i've ever had in my life we're going to so, miss her uh, 
we're, we're going to miss her. And I told her that. So I wish her nothing but the best. This is a young lady who uh, came to work for us right out of college. Um, I'm sorry, right out of high school. And while she was with us, she grew as an individual personally and professionally. And um, she's an example of all that is good about life south. Yeah. So we'll miss you, Jen. No, she is. She's she's a, such a wonderful, and she's always dead on. Every time she would, oh. you know, extract our blood, she was oh, no yeah. problem. Always dead on. Uh, I've, I've right. had my time. Right. Just this real quick story. When uh, a young phlebotomist wasn't quite getting it, because my veins are sometimes deep or whatever the problem is, mm-hmm. she'd come yep. over, put it in, it would start. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, right away. I always knew when I saw her coming. Oh, oh gosh, it'll it'll be this will it'll she'll do it right away. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was her confidence. I mean, she'd done it for so long. So, you know, I'll tell you this story about Jen, because this is a story she always tells about me. So when 9-11 happened, she was nine months pregnant. She Mm -hmm. was like weeks away from giving birth. And she came to me and she goes, Galen, I I can't. I'm like, go home. She goes, I can't go home. Oh, wow. That's a great story. Yeah, she just couldn't leave. Oh, oh my gosh! Let's uh, let's she take a break. So yeah. great. Today's a blue moon. Today, none of us could. Uh, none of us could leave. It was awesome. It was no. one of those days. But, no, you had. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a little break there. today. Uh, today is also a Major League Baseball trade deadline day. In case you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> trade deadline day for <laughs> baseball. <laughs> yeah. well, a huge day. Yeah, a yeah. Big day. All right, so so we'll take a, a break, and when we come back, I want to. Here's the question to ponder during the break. Are you ready? Today is Blue Moon Day. Today is a blue moon, and we'll just do the, the factual that stuff about that. we have to have a beer? <laughs> there you go. Well, oh, that's a really great comment, by the I'm, way. I'm, I'm ready. A blue, beer, blue moon beer. Yes, there is. It's, it's part of my trivia questions I later on with, with uh, like blue moon. fun with Joe. We Put should get some. But, he, on it. but here's awesome. the question. Here's the question. During the break, I want, you, I want to ask this one, and we're done with our business end of this conversation. What one thing would you like to do today? That you can say, I only do it once in a blue moon. Ooh. So what one thing would you like to do before today ends mm-hmm. that you can say, I only do it once in a blue moon, and then the next time you do it would be the next blue moon, which is like a two years from oh, now. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we'll ta- how often blue moons are two years? Well, the last one was uh, three years ago, so it might be, I don't know. 2000. Maybe I can find I, it. I, I really don't know how often. Okay, every three years. Okay. Well, got it. I'll tell you when we come back. I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> <sighs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is a place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Sweets of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of Friday Night Marion County High School Football on WOCA, The Source. Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with the family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Stency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cal Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings vary. Hey, Matt. I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, we'll see clouds and intervals of sunshine across the region. And there can be a shower and heavy thunderstorm or two around, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Watch for flooding downpours the high 86 to 90. A shower or thunderstorm later tonight, though, 74 to 77. For tomorrow, clouds, some sun, a couple of showers and thunderstorms around in the afternoon, the high 84 to 88. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. All right, it is uh, July 31st, 2015. It's 18 minutes after 8 o'clock. Galen Unold from Life South Community Blood Center is on the phone. We haven't done our business part of this, so let's do that first. How is the blood supply right now? Uh, we, we still need RH negative, which is A negative, B negative, and O negative, and we need AB donors. So if you're an AB donor, we need you to donate platelets. 
Okay, and this is, uh, this Porsche portion of the morning is sponsored by Penn Flooring. They're the ones who make sure that we have what we need, which is money, to be able to put this on the air. <laughs> they sponsor it. They have beautiful yeah. flooring over there. Um, redesign your home from the floor up. They've got beautiful carpeting, beautiful tile flooring and linoleum flooring, wood flooring. Their showroom will tell you everything you need to know and will we'll show you everything and the salespeople will sh- tell you. The showroom is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay Williams Bridge, a few blocks from Pine Avenue. All right, today is a blue moon. The question I'm going to ask you is, what do you want Maybe to do? It's not going to rain then. <laughs> it's like it's rained every day forever. What do you want to do today? Know. What do you want to do today that you'll only do once every blue moon? Now, what? In order for this conversation to have to make sense, we have to define the blue moon. Okay, so here's what it is. There are three definitions. There's the old, old, ancient one, which means never. Because the blue, the moon never turned blue, so they say once in a blue moon was actually something that never took place. That definition is considered ancient. Uh, Earth and Sky magazine and the Farmer's Almanac both say that a blue moon is when there are three. Hold on, three full moons. Uh, wait, it's it's the third it's the third full moon of four in a season. Hold on, let me make sure I have this right. Well, that couldn't be more confusing, Larry. Really know <laughs> I know. We're not using that definition. Uh, there, there are three definitions. According to the... Okay. A blue moon is the second full moon in a calendar year. Which That's the, com- that's the current, current modern definition. So today... So it's once a year. No, no, no. It's not once a year. Uh, the last one was... Huh? Once a year. No, it's not once, once a year. Once a year. No. You said the... Uh Second full moon in a calendar year. The second full moon in a calendar year. So July, this month right now, it's the end of the month. We, this is the second full moon this month. The first one was, I guess, earlier in the month. Okay. Okay. The last time we had one of these was August 31st of 2012. So that was like almost three three years ago. Second full moon of a calendar year. So shouldn't it be the second full moon in a month in the calendar year? The second full moon in a no. calendar year. Because there are full no moons. I'm sorry, I'm missing something. Second full moon in a calendar month. In a calendar month. Did I say calendar year? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The second full moon. Well, if it's calendar month, that would be like 12 times a year. No, because we only have one full moon a month normally. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. It's almost like getting an extra paycheck in a month. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Because a full moon, a full moon happens every twenty nine and a half days, or something like that. Okay. Okay. Understand okay. now. Okay. Now that kind of that makes sense. Got it. Okay. Okay. So the, so the last right. time this happened was August thirty first, two thousand twelve. It's happening today, and you asked when the next time is. By this definition, so by this yeah. definition, the next one is, and I had to go to Sky and Calendar mag- uh, magazine website for this. Uh, uh, the next. You were a subscriber to that, Larry. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think it's 2018. The next year of the double right, monthly so blue moons is years. okay. January and March, so we'll have two of them in 2018. Oh, I think that's a sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so, and the old farmer's almanac says uh, that the blue moon is the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. Oh boy! I know that's the confusing let's one. Just, let's just go with two in a month. Two Got in it. a month, Thanks. yeah. So the second, the second one, not both of them, but the second mm-hmm. one in July, for example, is the full is right. is a, is a blue, a blue moon. moon. Okay. okay, I got it. Got it now. Fully understand. <sighs> okay. So once every three years. <laughs> well, not necessarily. It depends. <laughs> let's just go with three I know. years, please, for simplicity. Because it would be three years from now and three years ago. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's just say three years. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. So what do you want to do today that you won't do again? Because you want to say, I do this every once every mm-hmm. blue moon. And anything you have in mind? Anything you'd like to do today? I like Clean to out eat. my attic. <laughs> Clean out your attic. I always wanted to go to a restaurant like the Olive Garden and eat all of their desserts. At one time, <laughs> I did. I've, 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 I've always wanted to do that. Just go oh, there and whatever right? dessert they have and eat it. All of them at one time? You don't, yeah. You don't want to go to the sushi bar. Once in a blue moon. Bar. Absolutely, we don't want to go to the sushi. Want to go bar. to the dessert? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, salmon, how many desserts do they have at the cell? At the uh, I don't, tuna. <laughs> maybe four or five. They might have four or five. 
But I've 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 always wanted to go to well, like today's the day. You're gonna like have to when, wait three years if you don't do it today. <laughs> when Bennigan's was open, they had those great great desserts, and I always wanted to go there and eat them all. Like you know, at, at one time, just like when you and I went to Russell wow. Stover's and just gorged on all their chocolate in the parking lot <laughs> that day. <laughs> just, just pass out right there at the table. <laughs> oh gosh! But that's what I've I've always wanted to do. Yeah, you know, anything to, anything come to mind that you'd like to do, Teddy, besides clean out your attic? <laughs> I, I I don't have anything else. Robin's is better than mine. Robin's what is was better. Yours, Larry? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's see what kind of oh, thing. See, this you is mine. can't judge me for not knowing. I wasn't I judging you. Mind. I was asking you. <laughs> is there anything I want to do today that Maybe I? Maybe I'll play the accordion today. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't play it again for another three years. Three, three years. So the next full moon. Hmm. Somebody would Blue probably moon. take it from me and, and say, "Don't ever touch that again." <laughs> <laughs> Over the next 20 years, there will be about 15 blue moons. So don't, I don't even figure this whole math part of this out. I just think it's what cool. What did you just say? Over the next three years, there will be 15 blue moons. 20. Over the next 20, three, 20 years. Over oh, the next 20 oh, years. Oh, oh, it's every three years. That's fine. Good morning. You're on the air. I'll be 80. <laughs> yeah, morning again. Uh, my neighbor once told me uh, a while back that uh, he liked to visit his mother-in-law once in a blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to do it today. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. But that's on, honestly what I'd like to do because I've always wanted to do that. Those I, desserts I look so good. A much better answer. <laughs> a much better answer. That, than was, a, that was a short Larry segment. Wow. Anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't, well, you didn't bring anything to the table. No, I, 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 no I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were prepared. Robin and I had no idea this was coming. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you could have said, this is what I would like to do, and it would be this great answer about climbing some mountain or, you know, All right. doing um, something with Alex, but you brought nothing. Oh, I don't want to do something <laughs> once every blue right. moon. No, I want to I want to see Alex more than I see him. I, I feel like I don't see him enough. You could, guys, what if you guys went kayaking down the, the <laughs> rapid? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Oh, well, we've done it once in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. that's, that's less than once in a full moon. Hmm. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> right. Seriously, what do you do once every three years? It's a, I, I don't know. Well, it would be say. something you establish once today. No, today's the day to establish it. Whatever right. it is you want to do. Like Robin yeah. wants to go eat every dessert at the Olive Garden. Right. So you're going to go with her. <clears throat> I'll probably do it, yeah. <laughs> right now, Doug is perking his head up. Whoa! Yeah, he's I was about to say, Doug is. I was about to say, Doug is in. Yeah, he's Doug is in. Doug's like dessert. All I've always dessert I can eat. I've always wanted to do that, and this is the perfect reason to do it because it's a blue moon. Well, there, there must be a Morning. there must be a blue moon item on a local menu somewhere. There must be something you only eat once in a blue moon. Well, there's Blue Highway Pizza. We could check that. We could go. <laughs> they have Blue Highway. <laughs> Blue Highway Pizza is pretty good, by the way. What oh, yeah. is? I know a lot of people on their blue moon eat a lot of sushi <laughs> and a lot of octopus. Oh, you know this. Calamari. Do you know yeah, this? Do you, do you know this the same way Himmler? Octopus. Do you know this the same way Himmler knew <laughs> what would make for the best? Yeah, pot? that's right. There you go. That's right. Let me ask you something about. I remember how you love what you people know. <laughs> no, Let me I, ask you this. Let me ask you this about that. the Blue Highway Restaurant. Are you a beer? Are you a beer guy? Do you like beer? I, I do, but I'm not one of these guys who like to, likes all the craft ales and oh, okay. all of that. But isn't so. there something I, special I do, about the beer I, over I there? I enjoy yeah. a beer once in a while. Okay, but have you ever seen all the beer taps at that restaurant? Yeah, yeah. What is that? What's the what story, do you know? Is, do they have like a special... I'm spe not that guy. <laughs> I'm not the guy who knows like what every air, no, okay. ale is and the flavor profiles. and mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, the, they're a wine guy. There are guys who... They don't really like wine, but they do the same thing that people do to wine, but to beer. So whether it's really hoppy or lots of barley or this is a wheat ale and all that stuff, I don't understand it. I'm like, it, I drink it or I don't drink it. Okay, once know. once in a blue moon, here's mine. Okay. Once in a blue moon, I'm going to ask Galen to explain to me about this 4 p.m. deadline to trade baseball players. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm probably not going to ask you that very often. <laughs> They're sweating it out. What, is this, what does this mean? Do they actually pay money for these guys? No, no, no. So what, what it gives is, is the deadline. You could trade them all the, the any time during the year until this point because it keeps a competitive balance. So this way teams aren't trading away their their uh, players near the end of the season when, the, when they're after the 
at the final end of the season and somebody could win or lose based on the availability. So it just gives a little uh, more competitive balance, if you will. So what will happen is the players say, well, I need, a new, I need another starting pitcher. So they'll go and they'll trade a, a starting pitcher for a couple of people they have in the minor leagues. you got to remember, baseball players are, are just livestock at this point in the year. They're like, no, I'll move this piece for this piece for this piece for this piece. Oh, wow. Right to livestock. Yesterday there were 13 team, uh, thir- uh, three-player, 13-player deal. So 13 people had to uproot and just leave because they were told to. So no notice, no warning. You don't get two weeks. You have to report there tomorrow. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. How well, come they do it during baseball season? Got 30 seconds. Oh, sorry. Well, because the baseball <laughs> season is really, really long, and uh, <laughs> that, that way it, uh, one, it, it helps the fans, and uh, hopefully the team can improve. 23 seconds. They can stretch for the wild sorry. card. 20 seconds. <laughs> sorry. My fault. And the Blue Mobile today, Larry, is located at the Lowe's. <laughs> In uh, down there in Lee's in uh, Lake County. So oh, okay. On this side of Lake County. So don't Early be the area. person who gives blood once every blue moon. How about that as a way to end it? No, good one. Ga- good one, Larry. Galen, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Thank you for what you do. <laughs> All right. Fox <laughs> News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Zimbabwe wants to track down the hunter, a Minnesota dentist who illegally killed a beloved lion there. Zimbabwe officials say they want Walter Palmer extradited. He's in seclusion amid anger. Angry protesters in Minnesota. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers. An online petition through the Obama administration's We the People campaign has collected more than 140,000 signatures asking for Palmer to be charged. There will be a forthcoming White House response. White House spokesman Josh Ernest there. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is trying to reach Palmer, who says he didn't know he was killing a protected lion. The man accused of killing nine people at a black church in South Carolina is expected to appear in court today. Dylan Roof faces 33 federal charges, including hate crimes and obstructing the practice of religion. And the host of the 2022 Winter Olympics announced in its Beijing. Fox News, we report you decide. There's more to Fox News Radio than meets the ear. Go behind the headlines and join the conversation on the hottest stories of the day on the Fox News Radio Facebook page. Be a part of the Fox News Radio Facebook fan community. Post comments and tell us your opinions. See behind-the-scenes photos and videos and post your reactions to the stories that matter to you. Click the like button on Facebook and connect with breaking news and features like Fox in the Fast Lane, House Call for Help, and more. Go to Facebook.com slash Fox News Radio. Weeknights, we're busting out a brand new lineup. First, market fraud, government abuse, corruption. At five, nothing's off limits on money with Melissa Francis. Then, from bloated bank fees to consumer scams. At six, Jerry's exposing the issues impacting your wallet. Plus, get smart market insight and trusted analysis you won't find anywhere else. At seven, Lou Dobbs is all business. And the first and last name in business, Cavuto. Shedding light on the biggest stories, making headlines at eight. Only on the Fox Business Network, giving you the power to prosper. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSales.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. 
Stanley Acrusa with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Dairy Queen. Spring is in the air and so is the smell of meat cooking on our charbroiled grill. You want to treat yourself to one of our most excellent grilled chicken sandwiches or wraps or maybe a foot long all beef chili dog and wash it down with an orange Julius fruit smoothie with many real fruit flavors.